So let's talk flickering text. It's a really fun effect that looks great on tons of different projects. For instance, take a look at mine. I'm going for a campy horror movie vibe with this fake title animation, and I think putting on a flicker will really sell it. Easy. Get your text situated and then open its dropdown. Click this button and select Opacity. Drag the opacity down to zero. Now open up the range selector, and with your time set to the beginning, make a keyframe for your start setting and make sure it's set to zero as well. Go forward on your timeline to where you want the animation to end, and drag start all the way up to 100. Open your advanced window, and the first thing we want to do is fix how our letters slowly fade in like this. It looks great for something else, but not our creepy horror movie. So crank the smoothness down to 0%. Now you'll see the letters instantly appear one after the other. Now let's randomize the way those letters come in. Toggle on your randomize order, and then take a look at the random seed. By itself, random seed doesn't do anything but change the order the letters are coming in. If we use some keyframes though and set it at 0 at the beginning and 24 at the end of our animation, it tells the words to randomize 24 times in that span, giving us a look that's a lot more chaotic. Now let's kick it up a notch and add some supplemental outline text. Duplicate the text with Command or Control D and open it up, and then open the text window as well. Now drag the pick whip from the source text of the new duplicate to the source text of the original, and this just makes it so if we make any changes to the original text, the duplicate will update with it. With the new text selected, go over to your character window and click this button to flip it to stroke, and just make it an outline of the text. You might not see it right away, but see, it's there. Since it has all the same properties as the first text, it isn't going to show right away that we did anything, but open up the keyframes you made by hitting U and go to that random seed. Bring it a few ticks up or down, and its letters are no longer popping in on the same track as the original. And that's how you make flickering text, but let's also add some more effects that will help really sell this. For starters, just for my piece, I'm going to make this texture disappear after the animation ends by simply lowering the opacity with some keyframes. Next, something we can all do is darken the edges of our comp to make it look more ominous. Right click and go to New, Adjustment Layer. Make sure it's at the top of your work area and then go to Effect, Stylize, CC Vignette. Set the amount to something that works for you. For me, it's 450, which I just think makes it look a lot nicer. Lastly, we're going to add some glow to our text. Select both of them and go to Effect, Stylize, Glow. Set the glow radius to 600 or a number you like. Make a keyframe for it when the flicker animation ended. Move forward and then drop the glow radius to about 50. Now highlight both of those keyframes you just made, right click, and in the keyframe assistant, select Easy Ease. And that's all I've got for you. Have fun! If you're looking to save time and produce awesome work right here in After Effects and Premiere Pro, Check out our links below to get access to our Motion Duck extension, which contains thousands of editable templates that are easy to update and ready to go for any commercial, client, and personal project.